keep this book. It is their first reach for and are the most asked for book by those who are mentally challenged. It has a message for you today and a message for even your generation to come. It is never out of date as many may think, but it is always current and it's up to date and future oriented. The old or young, high or low, rich or poor, privileged or underprivileged, it will bring the same strong encouragement, the same helpful counsel. It's no respect of person and it's the same rich enlightenment. Come to your Bible in the innocence of youth, wandering, dreaming, helping, and you will find it radiant with glowing ideals and worthy ambitions and with power to make your most beautiful dreams come true. Come to it in the flowering part of your age and you will recognize that you too have new eyes to gain. Come to it at the end of your journey and you will find peace and rest in your soul. Come to it in the prime of life when burdens are heaviest and pressing due to crowd your every hour and you will find in it strength for the task and sustenance for your journey. Come to it at the advancing years when energy is failing and shadows are falling and you will find it the light for your even tide and a wonderful hope for a new and better life to come. Come to it when you're conscious of sin, burdened with desires to be the kind of man and woman, boy or girl, you know you should be and you will find it, it a way, a guide of escape from the shackles that holds you in bondage. Peace will come to your troubled minds and consciences as you receive power from victory over evil. Come to it depressed in spirit, crushed by the hardness of the way and the perplexities that confront you, and you will find in it a refreshing of spirit for which you yearned. Come to it in sorrow because of some great loss or tragic bereavement, and you will find in it comfort such as nothing else can give and a promise of glad reunion beyond the grave. Through your Bible runs a, a veritable river of life flowing from heavens itself. Open it, read it, and this spiritually radioactive flood will begin to flow through the channels of your mind, healing, cleansing, restoring, invigorating with a mysterious energy no other source can supply. It will clarify your vision, give you peace of mind, correct your judgment, purify your ambition, and refine your situation and circumstances. Given free courses, the first tiny trickles of this wonderful streams will swell into a mighty torrent, sweeping, gushing, as our name suggests, a, a pouring, bursting forth of God's blessing in your life sweeping away all that is unlovely and unholy and your nature and stimulating the development of every noble quality you could or never think or imagine. Then sooner than you could ever think or imagine, it will overflow naturally and irresistibly into selfless service for others and your king. What a treasure is this and what a pity to have it in your home and only taking up dust and not look for it. Many draw for their iPhones and their uh, Android, but be sure that you're reading its pages. To be poor when you might be rich, to be weak when you just could well, very well discover strength and be strong, to be sad and dejected when you might be radiant with joy, to carry guilt when you could be burden free and find peace and healing. Believe me when I say that this treasure is very close to you. You may even be touching it. It is at this moment. It's your Bible. Why not open it? Why not read its pages and discover the abundance of God's gushing forth mercies and grace? Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you to give us new desire for your word. Father, as we seek you daily, Lord, we ask that we will find buried treasures in your word that will meet us and minister to our souls wherever we are. Father, we lift up those who are celebrating the May birthdays this month and we ask you to be with them in wherever they are in their lives. Touch them emotionally and physically, Lord. Father, some need physical healing. Some need a combination of all sorts of healing, spiritual, emotional, financial, psychological healing, Lord. Father, we ask you, God, to remove the mental anguish and distresses from our minds and to keep our hearts and mind focused on you. Whatever we come for this morning needing, may we find that in you and in your word a refreshing. In Jesus' sorry name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day. Bless, bless. God loves you. And read your Bible today and find treasures.